Rob Nagy, Giroux Tree and Lawn Care. Over at a property, Meadowbrook, Pennsylvania. Get ready to start removing some of the trees that landed on the backside of this property. Got the crane in. Again, we are still on, we had two nor'easters come through. Tree number one, big giant white oak tree. Crushed a shed. Came down where it uprooted, destroyed a fence. And there's tree number two, we'll call. Another big oak tree, red oak. And tree number three is the big beech tree there. So I'll show you this root system. People think trees have big giant tap roots. This one, as you can tell, don't have a tap root. They go and they stretch out. Sometimes when it's too wet, windy, and uh, too much snow and ice, this is what happens. And look where this one fell. These are all of the units for the house right here, the heating and cooling units. And look at this. I mean, can't fit anything through that. Dan, what do you say? I say this is gonna be a great day. We've got three trees to remove up in somebody's garage. A very hazardous situation. We've got the crane here to assist in everything being removed from the house. Today's gonna go very well. So Dan just made the cut through this beech tree that was originally laying on the house. And now he is directing the crane operator, Chris, what to do. Wood up and over. Looks like Dan is actually working on, we found some concrete in the tree unfortunately trying to work around that so that the crane can pick up this piece and get it out of here it's a pretty good idea one thing after another yeah chainsaw hit it huh oh yeah three times you can see here i made one cut here i made another cut in here two cuts there and one back there so this runs nine feet long and who knows where it stops Being that we can't use a chainsaw to cut this, we have a stump grinder on site. We use a stump grinder to cut the log in half up to this area where the concrete is. As you can see in the center, there's the concrete here. This is definitely man made. We're trying to figure out exactly what it is, not sure. There's nails in here, it's shaped in a very odd shape, but uh, this is the culprit as to why we couldn't get the tree cut apart. Again, stump grinder here. Made it. So that's how you get a big giant log from the back of a property right into a truck. Perfect fit. Kirk is actually over here working with the remote control, utilizing the stump machine.